Hey, what's up guys? LC Gaming here, and I'm back with another video on Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm back here with Hacker for Days, and we're showing you guys a cool glitch. Hacker is the one who told me, so all props go to him. Once again, I'm going to link uh, Josh Place's channel in the description below if you guys haven't checked out his channel, so you guys could check it out. This is a glitch putting multiple wobble bobbles or Lego heads or whatever you guys want to call these heads, the yellow heads, on a car. It could be any vehicle. But as you see, it's a very simple glitch and it may help you out. So first off, you know, just put a regular one, normal. He whitelisted me now. It kind of goes crazy. And then, like, you just got to put it right next to... You see, and this helps you out a lot because if you're carrying something to somebody's base, like, you know, if you're making a business deal and you don't you want to make sure your truck doesn't flip out or anything, you should put multiple multiple wobble bobbles on the back of your car. So this way it would be easier to transport your items. <sighs> like I said before, hacker for days is the one who told me this and I have had a person in the comment section tell me how to get the skulls but this person had lied to me just completely lied so after I recorded this video I went to go check with hacker for days and this other guy who's in the video toxic we went to go check it out we used toxic's eyeball and it turns out he was completely lying. We put it on all four plates, even that single plate. Yeah, all four plates. Um, that one single plate we started off at. Then we went to the guy with the statue on his head. And we just went through all the corners and nothing happened. We stood there for a little bit. And um, that just proves certain people can't be trusted. So every time somebody tells you something, just don't believe everything that people tell you. I mean, it was probably something that someone told him or her to uh, tell me. Probably false information, got the information wrong. But the person also told me that I could buy it off of them. The person was probably trying to scam me. But the point being made here is you just can't trust everybody. I was just being too open with the person. I was going to give them a shout out and everything in this video if that would have worked but obviously since it's not uploaded to my channel yet it clearly didn't i'm gonna show you guys once again uh how we did it for the people that still didn't realize what we did i'm just gonna show you guys that this is legit <laughs> so just took the wobble bobbles off so you guys could see this one kind of glitched out. I do not know where it went, but Hacker ends up finding it. Let me see him just taking him off to show you guys. And this one, it just, sometimes it's a little glitchy. Oh, voice crack. <laughs> Me. <laughs> um, so, I took it off. And this one just popped straight back on. Didn't want to move. For some reason, I was trying to move it. Said I could move it, but it didn't. See, so it just gets right back on. So, hacker puts them all back on. And don't forget to check out hacker's shop. Um, he sells a lot of great items. I don't know how much he sells them for. Once again, oh, you see that one popped off. Um, hacker's gonna put it back on. But I really don't know how much he sells for. You guys could go text him on Xbox and you guys could see for yourself. See, he gave me money. He gave me 49000 At the end of the video, he ends up giving me more money. He ended up giving me 69000 in total. And, um, yeah, um, it just shows how he's a really cool person. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out Josh Plays channel in the description below. And I just want you guys to be careful out there for all the scammers. You know, so see you guys in the next video. LC Squad. Peace!